Hi, Miss Fox. I see our friends are back. Let's say hello. Hi, and welcome back. Today, I'm wondering about more ways to graph numbers to five. Before we get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea, and I'll meet you at my desk. Just like our other lesson, today we are going to continue graphing numbers to five. Before we begin, I want you to grab your whiteboard and marker and your containers of objects. Are you ready? To start, let's work together to make our graph on our whiteboard. We are going to make five lines across our whiteboard. Let's start at the top. I'm going to put mine right here. One, two, try to make your line space the same amount of distance apart. Three, four, five. Now let's draw our other lines. Let's make six lines down. One, two, Remember, try to make them evenly spaced. Three, four, five, six. Do you have some extra lines on your graph at home? I do. You can either leave them, or if you want, you can erase them. There, we did it. I'm going to do the first graph, and I want you to watch and follow along. I have circles. Let's spread them out. Can you tell your teacher what colors you see? I see red, green, orange, yellow, and orange. But instead of making our graph from the bottom to the top, Today, we are going to graph from the left to the right. This is important. We're always going to start from the left to right, just like we read left to right. So let's get started. Um, let's start with red. I will start with my first red circle at the bottom. And remember, I'm not going up. I'm going to the right. Put one red circle in each square. Let's do yellow. Then I will put my yellow circle. And let's do orange. Oh, I forgot a red. Let's put my orange in. And my last color is green. Let's add our green at the top. We did it. Now let's talk about the graph we see. Which color do we have the most of? Red. You're right. How many reds do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count how many yellows we have. One, two, three. Let's count our oranges. One, two. And let's count our greens. One, two, three, four. Were you able to know the answer to any of the colors by just looking at them? You were? Well, that's subitizing. We practice it all the time. Let's talk some more about our graph. Which color do we have the least of? Did you say orange? You're right. How many oranges do we have? Two. Yep, two is our smallest number. Which color is one more than orange? Look at your graph to help. Oh, 
Did you say yellow? Yes, yellow is one more than orange. Let's try another question. How many more reds are there than greens? Did you say one? You're right. I'm going to clean up my circles and then we will move on to graphing together. Now, are you ready to graph along with me? Let's grab our pattern blocks and we'll graph those first. Spill them out and take a look. I see yellows and reds and blues and oranges. Let's start with the blue. Remember, we're going to start graphing from left to right. So I'm going to put my blue in the first square. I don't have any more, so let's start with our oranges next. I'm going to start from my left to right and put one orange in each square. And then let's go with reds. And my last color, yellow. My yellows barely fit in my graph. How do yours fit? But it still works. Now let's talk about our graph and what we see. Just by looking at it, which shape do we have the most of? Yep, you guessed it, the squares. Do you know how many squares we have? Yes, five is right. Let's count to double check. One, two, three, four, five. Now just by looking at our graph, which shape do we have the least of? Yep, the blue diamond is the least for sure. Now how many red trapezoids do we have? Did you say two? You're right. One, two. Now, how many yellow hexagons do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Good job. Do you know how many hexagons we would need to get to five? Yep. One more. We would need one more hexagon to get to five. And then that would be the same as the orange squares. What else can we say about our graph? Can you think of a sentence to tell your teacher at home? I'll tell you my sentence. I see that there are more red trapezoids than blue diamonds. Do you see that too? What else could we say? Oh, I can say there are more orange squares than yellow hexagons. That's another way we can talk about our graph. What else? Can you tell your teacher one more sentence? Good job. We're done graphing our shapes. Now we're going to get ready to graph our transportation vehicles. So let's clean up our shapes. For our last activity together, let's grab our transportation counters. I have mine. Do you have yours? Good. Let's spill them out. Good. Now I see buses and cars, airplanes and helicopters. Let's start with our helicopters first. Just like before, let's graph our helicopters from the left to right. 
I like to stand mine up. Then let's do cars. Oh, and then let's do airplanes. And our buses. There. What can you say about our graph? Let's take a look. How many helicopters do we have? One, two. How many cars do you see? One, two, three. How many airplanes are there? One, two, three, four. And just by looking, how many buses are there? Did you see that they're the same? And we just counted four airplanes. So how many buses are there? Four is right. Let's double check. One, two, three, four. Yep, we did it. Now let's make up some sentences about our graph. Can you think of a sentence to tell your teacher at home about the graph? I have one. We can say there are three cars. What's another sentence? Oh, I could say there are the same number of planes and buses. What else could we say? I know. There are the least amount of helicopters than all of our other vehicles. What's another way we can describe our graph? I thought of one. There are more airplanes than cars. Is that true? Yeah. What about this one? There are more cars than buses. Is that true? No. What's true? Yep. There are more buses than cars. Is there any other way we could describe our graph? Tell your teacher if you've thought of another way to describe our graph. Good job! Ms. Fox, how did you like our graphing today? Did it remind you of anything we have already done before? For me, it sure did remind me of sorting and classifying objects. Classifying objects really is everywhere. When we first began, I was wondering about ways to graph numbers to five. But the big question is, what do you wonder? See you next time.